how fitting that I'm gonna do this review at this Barstow station. Believe it or not, this is where I started out. This is where I decided that, you know what? Let me just start uploading videos that I don't see on YouTube and create a YouTube channel. And the rest is history. A couple years later and I'm still doing this. Eh, for better or for worse. But yeah, let's, uh, let's check out this helmet that I got from SS Gear uh, Canada. Not the US, but the uh, Canadian side of things. Gotta love those trains. All right. So here's the helmet that I received from uh, SS Gear Canada. It's the SS 1550 uh, I really like this helmet. I uh, just came here, don't mind the, uh, the bug splatter. But uh, this helmet's pretty nice. Uh, let's see. Let's see what we can go over. It has a lot of vents. Whole lot of vents. They didn't skip out on that. Even these top ones over here. You know what? Let me find a more stable area to put this on so we can uh, go over the, uh, the the features on this. So this here is the SS 1550 1550. So it has purple visor here. It comes in gold, silver, and dark tint and also clear. I got the clear one with uh, the included purple visor. It goes up. Uh, it has a shaded visor inside. It should have a little button. There we go. Button right here. Am I on the right? Yep. You know what? I got my glove here. Shit. There we go. I don't know, it's being a little stubborn here. I guess because it clicks into place. I think the most amazing thing about these is that it has all these awesome vents. I really like what they did here. This design is really cool. I don't know if you guys can make that out, but the uh, pins on, on here, opening and closing. Uh, there's also some side vents here. Close, open, close. Open. Uh, these are awesome actually because I could feel the, the, the breeze going from here and it just shoots back to the back of my neck and it just feels amazing. Same thing with this side. And uh, this is like more of an exhaust vent. Um, same with, with these right here. Uh, this, this, these things probably do something else, I'm not sure. Oh, interesting. I'm gonna have to ask them if, uh, if this thing has a purpose because it almost feels like they come off. But yeah, other than that, then we have the, the uh, upper vents here, which are pretty neat because they're just a click, just like that. And then the other side. Uh, the, the most awesome thing that I like about this helmet is this magnetic chin strap, like, well, magnetic ratchet chin strap. You can see this thing has ridges, and then you got your emergency. Check this out, here it is, here it is. Satisfaction. Just pull it out. Just like that. This is probably the game changer right here. I think every brand should incorporate something like this. This thing is amazing. Uh, the padding right now, I can't really say, but I used to have a SS gear. I think it was 2000 or something like that. But the padding, I know uh, it's a little firm at the beginning, but once you break it in, it's extremely comfortable. Um, I, I can't get enough of these vents because it really circulates the air inside so your head is actually cooler. I like this. Uh, chin uh, fabric here oh man well got a little bit of quality control issue here 
but uh, hopefully they last. Um, right there, SS 1550 DOT certified and uh, FMB certified. Um, I think honestly these should make their make their uh, approach over to the U.S. side. Uh, a lot of people are turned off by this brand because I guess they make them in China. Um, but what then again, what is it nowadays? So. Uh, my other helmet is a Ruroc helmet. Uh, that one's all right. Uh, what I do like about that Ruroc that is that uh, it's a lot more quieter. My experience with this uh, helmet so far is when you're when you're riding, I do wear earplugs, but I still feel that I uh, I'm listening to the traffic and the wind noise a little a little more than I did with my Ruroc, um, which is kind of odd because I do have earplugs on. Um, I'm not sure why. I think. I think because all these vents, if you have all the vents open, you have more of that exposure of the outside noise. But even when they're closed, because I was playing with it on my way over here, even when it's all the way closed, I still see, still hear somewhat of the out, out uh, the outdoor environment, and uh, it's just not it's not all that great. I know I know some of you li like to listen to music or have calms, so if you're trying to have like a quiet or clear. Uh, communication or music uh, entertainment it's just I don't think this helmet is gonna do it it's not there just yet the the Ruroc on the other hand yeah it's it's a lot bulbous it does make your head look a little funny in my opinion because the the Ruroc, hel Ruroc helmet is just huge it's just bulbous um, so it's, it's funny looking with this one it's more cater catered to oval head shape and I, I, my, my head is oval so honestly, I'm extremely comfortable with the SS gear uh, helmet and structure of it. But uh, I don't know, I, I, uh, I'll shoot them a message and I'll see if these are gonna make their way over to the US market. But as of right now, you can only get them in Canada. Uh, SS gear Canada, Canada was kind enough to uh, help me out and uh, ship one over to me. And uh, I wanted to show it off to all of you guys, see if you guys want this to be in the US market. Are you willing to give this a shot or you're just gonna overlook it and stick to your own brand. Uh, I'm not a brand loyalist, by the way. I, I stick to, you know, whatever seems uh, constructed right or made right, then I'll give it a shot. But uh, nonetheless, uh, I, I, I like this helmet because of comfortability. Uh, so I'm gonna keep wearing it, keep trying it out, and uh, keep enjoying it, really, uh, over the Ruroc. Because the Ruroc is just, like I said, it's a little too big. It, lo it looks funny. It fits right but it's funny. Uh, I'm sure a lot of you guys know what I mean by that. Uh, I think that's about covers it. I don't really have much. I just wanted to shoot that out, shoot this information out to you guys so you guys can, you know, if you're interested, you just message SS Gear Canada, have them push this to the US market, and hopefully they'll, uh, they'll release, release these in the market, uh, more modified or upgraded or what have you. But uh, I'm looking forward to uh, Hopefully working with SS Gear, and uh, yeah, we'll see. We'll see what they say. Uh, sponsor me, SS Gear. Cop cough. <laughs> Appreciate you guys for joining me for this quick review, though. I wanted to share this once again, and hit that uh, like and sub, and I'll catch you guys on the next video. This weekend, I should be testing out uh, some Triumph bi bicycles and doing the Indian uh, uh, test ride demo. So I'll be trying out a couple of bikes from them. Um, so keep a lookout for that later on this week. All right guys. Cheers Just wanted to show you guys this real quick before I let the video go, but uh, There's a couple of Mad Max looking vehicles here That one's really cool right here it has a machine gun. I don't know if you guys can see that There's like a cool motorcycle with tracks it's a shame I can't see it in person, but uh, I'm gonna have to do some research on this. Maybe there's a way to see it up close, but uh, as of right now, it's all fenced up. But that's all I wanted to share, guys. I'm in Barstow right now, and these are some pretty rad looking Mad Max vehicles. All right, I'll let you guys go. Cheers.